Welcome back everybody. Doing something a little bit different with this video to try to get more interaction with it. Uh, going through the lyrics. Kind of like deconstructing it. So hopefully it's a good change. And gets the video more involved for you guys. So here we go. Today we're doing Hobson. I uh, really like him. Someone else request, requested him. And Ill Mind of Hobson 9 is a pretty deep song. So... I think it's one worth getting into. So here we go. Hey kids, today's magic number is gonna be the number nine. Mm. Nine. Mm -hmm. All right. Could have been so good, but my man had to fuck it all up. And now your daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. Hell no, no, daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. All together, come on. All lives could have been so good, but my man had to fuck it all up. I wish I knew you. I'm your father, you'll probably never be introduced to. You'll only see me on TV or maybe YouTube. But now I know your mama is probably dating some new dude. So, how you liking Earth? Are you loving your existence? I wasn't at your birth, cause your mother made me miss it. I tried to get a visa, I applied and they denied it. Cause your mama told the police that I beat her, she was lying. And now I'm banned for something bad that I ain't even do. There's a lot of land and water separating me and you. You are far away in Australia and I am in America. So I cannot be there to do all of the things a parent does This is my attempt at me raising you from a distance You have Hobson in your blood, you are special and you are gifted The punishment your mother has given me doesn't seem fair Just know I love you son, and I'm wishing that I could be there So just in that first verse, he said a lot Yeah <laughs> You know, I mean, I think there's a lot of people going through there. There's a lot of fathers out there going through this exact same thing. Not saying all of them, but some of them is kind of embellished and made up and they don't get to see their kids. But they have to yeah. pay the money, but they don't get to see their kids. And that's kind of messed up, you know? Yeah, I get it. what you're saying. I mean, he goes in and he's like, I'm banned for something bad I ain't even do. There's a lot of land and water separating me and you. Pretty and, deep. Yeah, that's a deep, <laughs> deep line there. Yeah. There's been a lot of dads who say the mom does stuff, and there's been a lot of moms who say the dads are doing stuff. And it's really messed up. Really, you should come together, focus on them kids, and make sure they got everything that they need. Yeah, that's what I think, too, because drama between the parents is never a good thing, especially for the kids' mental health. Or never a good anything. thing. Never a good thing. Like, you want to see your parents have, like, a good, like... Not together, of course, but like have a good, decent relationship that's not like fighting back and forth or so many complications. That's yeah, because it's already rough. Important. Exactly. It's already rough on the kids that the parents aren't together. But to sit there and see the mom say something or the dad say something negative toward one another, it doesn't help anything exactly. at all. Exactly. So, work together. It sucks that relationships fall apart. Sometimes that's how it is. Yeah. All right, let's get back into it. Could have been so good, but my man had to fuck it all up. He said. But now your daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. Hell no. No. Daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. Now sing it with me, son. All lives could have been so good, but my man had to fuck it all up. Yeah, that's it. And that's why daddy doesn't fuck with my mama. That's why what? Feeling cursed, you're partially black. I'm confident they're feeling nervous. They don't like colored people. In their eyes, you're still a burden. They assume we're gonna grow up shooting guns and stealing purses. But that's not true. Son, don't be sad. I know you're not like that. You know I got your back. Listen, here's a funny joke that you can tell your grandmother. She looks like a marshmallow man from Ghostbusters. Oh, I forgot. You're too young to know what that is. But that's the kind of thing I like to say to plumpy fat chicks. The humps on mom's chest are not real, they're elastic. And if you look closely, you can see she's made of plastic. Like a toy. You're my boy, my son, my friend. I promise we gon' be together somehow in the end. I am very ashamed that you don't have my last name. Every night I go to bed and I'm feeling this wicked pain because our lives could have been so 
That's another thing too. Yeah. The parents <laughs> on either side that get involved and it just makes everything a lot worse. Then you get yep. to hear what your grandma says. Then you get to hear, you know, how does your grandfather act? When it when you create lies, then it just hypes up the parents on either side and then you get to see them fight also. So it's not just a mom and dad battle. Then it becomes a grandparents battle also. Yeah, it's not a good My thing. son didn't do nothing wrong. My daughter didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. That's just this constant struggle. And then the kids are right there in the middle. And they're seeing all of it. And it's like being in the middle of a war. Yep. It's not good. It's really not. It's you not know. a good thing at all. Alright, let's get back into this. hit the floor i can't lie to you shit is hard i should be building with the lord it could be what i'm missing or maybe i should continue to hurt your mama and diss some more just to relieve the tension that sits in my heart because it is sore when i'm spitting bars about all my cash and exquisite cars this was all my vision and you were the one i did it for my relationship with your mama is sitting in the morgue after all this hell i can't lie I do what she did it for our lives are so unhappy because this world is cold and nasty just know your daddy don't condone having a broken family i'm so sad we couldn't work out our issues for you were and now you have to suffer cause mom and daddy have stupid lives You're way too young to notice it You don't deserve to go through this If I do see your mom again this time I will assault the bitch At least then I feel like my banning was justified Look at your mom and thank her for fucking up all our lives And sing Our lives could have been so good But mom had to fuck it all up And now your daddy doesn't fuck with your mama Hell no, no daddy doesn't fuck with your mama Where's my choir at? Our lives could have been so good Sorry I can't be there with you, but I'll be there soon But daddy doesn't fuck with your mama, no, no, no Daddy doesn't fuck with your mama, just know that Our lives could've been so good, but mama had to fuck it all up And that's why daddy doesn't fuck with my mama, hell no Now daddy doesn't fuck with my mama What do you think about that last part? Um, very intense, to be honest with you. I mean, like I said, for this kid or whoever, it's pretty sad for them, but I mean, yeah, it's a hard thing to go through when your parents are just fighting and you see all these lies from both sides and you can't really figure out what's what. And then, like, as the kid, you kind of like, you have to, like, you don't want to choose a side. Mm -hmm. You just kind of, you love both of your parents and, you want to do exactly like you want to make them happy so you say something to them that's like you know what well, makes them happy and then you say something to the other parent that makes them happy it's kind of just something you go through because you just don't want to make your parents unhappy or you know which is difficult you know it's a hard thing i feel yeah. it never plays on the kids emotions because like you said one parent you're trying to make happy yeah and they're fighting with your dad or you know or vice versa they're fighting yeah. dad's fighting with the mom and it's hard because you don't yeah. want to see that you don't want to see your mom say anything about your dad you don't want to see your dad say anything about your mom you just want everything to be peaceful exactly. you just want everything to be loving and when one or the other is constantly fighting then it really tears your whole world down like how do you focus on school how do you focus on developing relationships? How do you focus on developing friendships? How do you just focus on living in a world that's already terrible 
and then your personal world inside your bubble is also unbearable. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a really, really deep song that unfortunately mm -hmm. a lot of people in America and all over the world are going through this exact same thing. Not being able to see their kids, having lies being told on them to keep them from seeing their kids. And it's really, really a sad state. It is. <laughs> for everyone. And it's really the saddest for the kids involved. Because they can't develop who they are if they're living in this war constantly. Yeah, I mean, with parents and stuff, like it... If they had like a steady relationship, you know, after everything, it, it's just way better instead of telling lies about each other. And the hardest thing is for the kid, it's like, uh, you know, because like, what are you supposed to say to that? Well, another parent tells you, oh, hey, this parent did this, this, and this. You're just like, what? You know? Yeah. And it's a hard thing to go through because both sides are saying this or that, and you just don't know exactly what to believe, especially if you're like really young and you just right. don't get it. Yeah, because at a young age, you're still developing. Yeah. You're still figuring things out yourself. And then one person saying this, one person saying this. It's a constant struggle and a constant battle. And you don't want to believe that either parent has done anything bad. Like, exactly. And as a kid, yeah, you shouldn't be brought into adult things. Exactly. You, the only thing you need to be worried about is being a kid. Yep. Being a kid, going to school, making sure you're getting good grades setting yourself up to be successful in life not oh, i gotta believe what mom says oh, i gotta believe what dad says yeah, uh, exactly. i'm caught in the middle I'm trying to keep everybody happy and all of a sudden school grades are down you're not you don't have healthy relationships with friends or anyone else mm -hmm. your whole world just kind of crumbles gotta have a good foundation before you can build a house yep yeah. You gotta have a good foundation in any situation. Yeah. Deep video. Thanks guys for being with us. If you like us, hit like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Just watching us for a few minutes, that's cool. We appreciate it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Till next time. Till next time.